I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. It's part two of a Windows Phone 8 battle between the Ativ Odyssey and the Lumia 822. Which one of these mid-range Windows phones is going to come out on top? You're going to have to watch, my friends. But first, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you're going to walk out paying 50 bucks for either one of these devices. You're not going to deal with rebates, waiting 8 to 10 weeks. You're going to walk out with a shiny new smartphone in your hand and not have to deal with any paperwork at Best Buy Mobile. It's part two. Bam, Ativ Odyssey. Bam, Lumia 822. Samsung versus Nokia. Who's going to win? We'll find out in part two, which starts right now. It's part two of a dogfight battle between the Samsung Ativ Odyssey and the Nokia Lumia 822. Two mid-range Windows Phone 8 devices on Verizon Wireless. They're both $49.99, so it presents an interesting conundrum, probably. If you're walking in the store, you're like, which one do I go with? Well, it's part two of the dogfight. We're going to continue trying to figure that out. Kicking it right off, let's take a look at some of the value-added applications, because like I said in part one, with Windows Phone 8, very similar from a software standpoint. They don't allow a lot of customization, so it's not like Android, where you got HTC Sense, you have TouchWiz, you have Motorola's UI, and all these OEMs are kind of creating their own Android experience on top of Android 4.1, for example. You got to roll through here and add some software if you're an OEM to really make this device stand out, and particularly considering the fact that Nokia is hedging it all on Windows Phone 8. I'm always interested to see what they do from a software standpoint because they're putting all their eggs in the Windows Phone 8 basket, whereas Samsung, they've got some great applications, but they've got Android as a huge fallback. And I, you know, arguably, I should just say huge, huge fallback. That's probably the easiest way to say it. So we'll jump right in here at some of the Samsung ones and we'll take a look at Nokia as well. One of my favorites on the Samsung side is live wallpaper. Now, in addition to the improved customization on Windows Phone 8, you get this little live wallpaper choice where I can come in here and choose a bunch of different pictures, up to 12 to be exact. I think I can add two more. And so I should have 12 sample pictures. Well, now, because I have live wallpaper selected in my settings, I can come down here which this is a topic of conversation amongst itself. I can go into the lock screen, for example. I can select live wallpaper, photo editor, Bing, and photo. These are dynamic lock screens now as part of Windows Phone 8. And the great thing is when you install Facebook, for example, you can select it as your lock screen, so it'll display pictures from your Facebook albums, which is really, really a nice feature, a nice improvement on the customization front to Windows Phone 8. But, for example, you can see this picture will rotate out periodically. It'll be my weird picture on my phone here for a second. And we'll rotate out. That's a nice touch. On the Samsung side, HTC does a great job with some of their custom stuff. If you love HTC's lock screens, the 8X does a really decent job with uh, lock screens on Windows Phone 8. Then you have this. We can go back in here. Photo Bing, like I said, Bing will give you a different picture every single day. But I like these customizations. For example, I can choose an app to show detailed status. So Battery Widget, for example, could be my detailed status. And then I can come down here and do my quick statuses. So email. notice that email is on the right when I turn it off and back on. I can see that, and then because I selected battery, I've got my estimated battery remaining. This little space down here, I can dedicate to a particular application. So I can't switch it out, but I can make it my calendar, or my missed calls, or my text messages, and then get at a glance, quick at a glance information when I turn it off and back on. Now Nokia over here, City Lens Drive Maps and Music. So in addition to some of the drive options, the turn-by-turn -turn navigation that comes with Windows Phone 8, you get some Nokia options as well, and they're fantastic. But City Lens is one of my favorites. We'll go ahead and start this up. So obviously I'm in Dallas. You can see food, hotels, but let's say, you know what, I just landed in Dallas, and I'm like, where is the hotel? Where's the food? I'm at this weird office, and this guy named Aaron from Phone Dog is here, and he's creeping me out. I want to get out of here as quickly as possible. Well, and I'm hungry. So I can go over here and... That uh, was an interesting uh, interesting scenario, but you know what? Sometimes I creep people out and they get hungry. But you can see here, Organic Cafe, Boston Market over here. And what it is is real time. I can move back and forth, and as I move, I can see all the restaurants in real time. I can turn it in portrait mode too and see how far away those are in kind of the compass direction as to where they're located. I can do that with hotels as well. I can do that with shopping. Throw it over into portrait mode, see all the hotels near me or near my office, I should say. And that's a really nice application out of the box. City Lens, then there's a Microsoft version as well. I'll scroll down here so you can take a look at it on the Samsung side. So you do get kind of a, cert, a mini version of that, if you will, with Local Scout, which gives you the ability to come in here and do eat and drink. You can see stuff that's nearby, and we'll wait for it to load up on the Ativ Odyssey. Over here, you've got Nokia City Lens Drive. We'll take a look, a quick look at Drive. Open Road Made Easy, which I just forgot because I reset the device. I'm going to have to reinstall it. Let's do a quick look at Nokia Maps. 
because I do want to show you that. Nokia Maps is fantastic. What I like about Nokia Maps is that you can download them for offline use. So in a case like me, for example, where I got to go to Barcelona later in the month for Mobile World Congress, I can download Barcelona Maps and take them offline. So I'm not using data when I'm in Barcelona at some absurdly high rate. I really like that feature. It's a great value add for the Nokia Lumia devices. Then over here, like I was saying, with Local Scout, I can see where to eat and drink. I can see and do. I can shop. And I can get suggestions and more. So there is a Windows Phone 8 alternative to that as well. So still, I will say the Nokia one is far more robust and easier to use all around. So I've got this. I can pinch out if I want to and see Dallas. I can come in here and see directions, download maps, settings, search my places, all these different options. And I can come in here and take a look at the map. But again, I like the fact that it's all available in offline use. One other thing I want to highlight, the People Hub on both of these devices. And actually, before I do that, let's jump down through here and see a uh, mini diary, because I was actually having a lot of fun with this one recently. So mini diary here, I've got my new office phone. I can come in here and select a new addition to my diary. I can add a photo, I can add a location, so I can say Dallas, I can add text. And then I can come down here and do voice drawing and more. So really it's an option for you to customize and document your life's memories all in your smartphone, another Samsung value added application. And so a quick comparison of the cameras, five megapixel camera over here with 720p HD recording. You've got an eight megapixel camera on the Lumia 822 with 1080p HD video recording. So arguably the winner is already the Lumia 822, but we can take a look. Some of the features I like a lot, and they're very similar from an organizational standpoint, but I love the feature to be able to go back between the live gallery and, of course, the picture itself. And then you have these little frames or these lenses, I should say, you can download from Windows Store or the Microsoft Store. Beauty, Bing Vision, and I can come down here as well. Bing Vision comes out of the box, but you can download a bunch of additional options through this. We'll go into Store. And you can see, for example, in the Nokia collection, I can go in here and see a bunch of different options. Panorama, Smart Shoot, Creative Studio, Photo Beamer, and more. And then Samsung has additional options through the store as well, which I'll show you really quickly. Quick winner goes to the Lumia 822, although Samsung Zone, you can see a couple of different options down here as well. You've got, of course, the photo editor, which comes pre-installed. And then Beauty is one, and that's what you get in the Samsung Zone in the app store. People, we'll finish out with this and I will close out the video. Really nice because it's People Hub. You can see what's new. You can see Family Room, which is a great option as well, where I can come in here, and if all my family has Windows phones, it's easy to come in here in a Family Room and do a chat room. We can share calendars and more, as you see right here. Chat, calendar, photos, notes, and more. Family Room is really useful, as is Kid Zone. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com. The winner of the dogfight is the Nokia Lumia 822. The value-added software over here makes this device a great choice. Not to say that the Ativ Odyssey isn't. Got some great software, but some of those Nokia applications are fantastic, and the screen is slightly larger, not to mention the camera. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of both of these devices. The Ativ Odyssey, the Lumia 822 on PhoneDog.com. Tweet me, PhoneDog underscore Aaron. Let me know what you think of both of these devices. And as always, we'll see you next time. Stay tuned because we got a lot of Windows Phone 8 coverage to go on PhoneDog.com. We'll see you next time.